East Bengal Bengali, Purba Banla Purbo Bangla was a geographically non-contiguous province of the Dominion of Pakistan covering Bangladesh. With its coastline on the Bay of Bengal, it bordered India and Burma. It was located very near to, but did not share a border with, the Nepal, China, the Kingdom of Sikkim and the Kingdom of Bhutan. Its capital was Dhaka. The partition of British India, which divided Bengal along religious lines, established the borders of Muslim-majority East Bengal. The province existed during the reign of two monarchs, including George VI and Elizabeth II, and three governors-general, including Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Kawaja Nazimuddin and Ghulam Muhammad. Its provincial governors included a British administrator and several Pakistani statesmen. Its chief ministership was held by leading Bengali politicians. East Bengal was the most populous and cosmopolitan province in the Dominion. East Bengal was a hub of political movements, including the Bengali language movement and pro-democracy groups. It was dissolved and replaced by East Pakistan during the one-unit scheme implemented by Prime Minister Muhammad Ali of Bogra. The provincial legislature was the East Bengal Legislative Assembly. History. Mandates for partition Between 1905 and 1911, a province called Eastern Bengal and Assam existed in the region as part of the British Indian Empire. The All India Muslim League was founded in the British province in 1906. The All India Muslim League adopted the Lahore Resolution in 1940 which envisaged the creation of sovereign states in the Muslim-majority areas of eastern and northwestern British India. The League won elections in Bengal in 1946, receiving its largest mandate in the province. The Silhet region in Assam also voted to be part of East Bengal due to the campaign of the League. As a result of these mandates, the Mountbatten Plan and Radcliffe Line established East Bengal as a province of the newly formed Dominion of Pakistan in August 1947. <laughs> ministry. Sir Kawaja Nazimuddin, a former Prime Minister of Bengal, was the first Chief Minister of East Bengal after partition. Nazimuddin was a senior leader of the Muslim League and a close confidant of Pakistan's founder Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Sir Frederick Chalmers Bourne was the first governor of East Bengal. Partition resulted in making many Hindus to leave East Bengal while Muslims from different parts of the Indian subcontinent migrated to East Bengal. The east-west Bengal border did not see as much violence as seen in the Punjab border between North India and Pakistan. Jinnah made his sole visit to East Bengal as Governor-General in 1948. During a speech to students in Dhaka University, he resisted demands to make Bengali a federal language. His refusal sparked fierce protests among East Bengalis who comprised the majority of Pakistan's population. The proposal for Urdu as the sole national language met with strong opposition in East Bengal, where Urdu considered rather alien, especially in light in Bengali's rich literary heritage. When Jinnah died in 1948, Nazimuddin became the Governor-General of Pakistan. Amin Ministry The Conservative Muslim League leader Nurul Amin succeeded Nazimuddin as chief minister. According to some sources, Amin had strained relations with the federal government, including Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan and Governor General Kawaja Nazimuddin. Historians have noted that Amin's government was not strong enough to administer the provincial state, it was completely under the control of the central government of Nazimuddin. His government did not enjoy enough power and lacked vision, imagination, and initiatives. In 1949, Maulana Bashani led left-wing elements in the Muslim League to break away and form the Awami Muslim League. The new party was joined by Hussein Shahid Surawardi, a former Prime Minister of British Bengal. The new party later dropped the word Muslim, fashioned itself as secular and courted votes from East Bengal's large non-Muslim minorities. The language movement reached a climax in 1952. During the unrest, the police shot dead four student activists. This raised more opposition in the region to the Muslim League. Leading politicians in West and East Pakistan called for Amin's resignation. 
In subsequent provincial elections, Amin lost his seat in the Legislative Assembly. Huck ministry In the 1954, the United Front coalition resoundingly defeated the Muslim League with a landslide majority. The coalition included the Awami League, the Krishak Praja Party, the Democracy Party and Nizam-e-Islam. The esteemed lawyer A. K. Fazlul Huq, popularly known as the Sher e Bangla Lion of Bengal, became chief minister. Huck established the Bangla Academy and called for greater provincial autonomy. He wanted the federal government's responsibilities limited to only foreign affairs and defense. King Saud of Saudi Arabia sent a plane to bring Huck to a meeting with the monarch. The New York Times published an article claiming Huck wanted independence for East Bengal. While visiting Calcutta and New Delhi, Huck was received by Indian leaders. Barely a few months into office, Huck was dismissed by Governor General Ghulam Muhammad due to allegations against of Huck of inciting secession. Topic: <laughs> Sarkar Ministry. After Governor General's rule was withdrawn in 1954, Abu Hussein Sarkar briefly served as chief minister before Governor General's rule was again imposed. He started the construction of Central Shahid Minar. Topic: <laughs> Khan Ministry. Governor General's rule was withdrawn on June 1955. Ator Rahman Khan of the Krishak Shramak Party was the last chief minister. His government declared the 21st of February, the anniversary of the language movement, a public holiday. He later resigned on 30 August 1956 over inflation of food grains and subsequent food shortages. One unit As part of the reforms and reorganization policies of Prime Minister of Pakistan Muhammad Ali of Bogra, East Bengal was renamed as East Pakistan on 14 October 1955. Federal law in East Bengal East Bengal existed when Pakistan did not have a written constitution. Instead, the Pakistani courts relied on English common law and the objectives resolution. Constitutional coup In 1953, Prime Minister Khawaja Nazimuddin's government was dismissed by Governor General Ghulam Muhammad, in spite of enjoying the confidence of a majority in the Constituent Assembly of Pakistan. The Governor General later dissolved the Constituent Assembly itself. In the case of Federation of Pakistan v. Malvi Tamaluddin Khan, the Speaker of the dissolved Constituent Assembly challenged the Governor General's decision in the Sindh High Court. The case proceeded to the Apex Court the Federal Court of Pakistan where Justice M. Munir ruled in favor of the Governor-General. Justice A. R. Cornelius expressed dissent and supported Speaker Khan. The dismissal of the Prime Minister and Assembly was one of the first major blows to democracy and the rule of law in the Pakistani Union. Reform demands Begum Shasta Surawardi Ikramullah called for Pakistan's Constituent Assembly to convene in Dhaka as East Bengal was home to the majority of Pakistan's population. Governors and Chief Ministers Economy, Culture and Military Orient Airways, owned by an East Bengal-based industrialist, launched the first flights between Karachi and Dhaka. The airline later evolved into Pakistan International Airlines. The Chittagong Tea Auction was established in 1949. As a result of the Bengali language movement, East Bengal was a center of Bengali cultural activities. The University of Dhaka was hotbed of political thought. 
The East Bengal Regiment was formed on 15 February 1948 following Pakistan's independence and transition from post-British rule. The infantry of the new Pakistan Army was made up exclusively of men from the western part of the country. It was consequently necessary to raise a regiment in the east. Two companies of Bengali pioneers from the Bihar Regiment were regimented into the 1st Battalion under Lieutenant Colonel V. J. Patterson as Commanding Officer and Major Abdul Wahid Choudhury as Officer Commanding Training Khoi. Captain Sami Ullah Khan and Captain Abdul Ghani in the lead of two pioneer companies 1256 and 1407. A total of eight battalions were raised. See also Provinces of Pakistan